CYF is investigating and vowing to make changes after a child who was previously in state care died inside her adoptive mother's home. It's a tragic story we've been tracking for more than a week. DCYF director, uh, director Trista Piccola says one employee has been placed on leave in light of this case. Three others have been given restricted responsibilities. Iowa Sue supporter Caroline Goggin spoke with the Office of the Child Advocate who has criticized DCYF about its handling of cases in the past. She joins us now live in studio with the new details. Caroline. Mike and Shannon, in 2016, the Office of the Child Advocate released a scathing report suggesting Rhode Island wasn't doing enough to protect at-risk children. Almost two years later, the state's child advocate, Jennifer Griffith, tells me she believes DCYF has made some changes but says it's an ongoing process. Now her agency is launching yet another review into child abuse in the state. This is a tragedy. It's a horrible situation and we need to get to the bottom of what happened. An investigation underway following the death of nine-year-old Zanai. Police say the young girl who had special needs was found dead in a bathtub in her Warwick home. They say she was living in squalid conditions with seven other children and their adoptive mother, Michelle Rothgeb, who now faces child cruelty charges. I met with Dr. Pecola twice since this happened and I no doubt that will continue. Rhode Island's child advocate Jennifer Griffith tells me her office is now investigating this case and will be compiling a report solely focused on this death. Griffith has created a specialized team to help. I'll be adding a, um, a person who has experience with children with developmental disabilities and I will also um, be adding someone who has an expansive knowledge of the special education systems, particularly in Rhode Island for public schools. DCYF Director Dr. Trista Piccola says her department is also taking immediate actions, like putting stricter limits on the number of children placed in a single home. There's been a lot of discussion about, you know, why one woman had eight children in her home, and I also support her decision to make sure if someone's seeking to place more than five children in a foster or kinship or pre-adoptive situation that they would need her express authorization. The Office of the Child Advocate is a watchdog group for DCYF, but Griffith says they can't do this work alone, reminding the public if you see something, say something. Everyone is a mandatory reporter and it's, it's helpful to call before, not after. Now, Director Pecola wouldn't say if a social worker who visited the Rothgeb home last January is one of the employees being disciplined. She says that worker didn't notice any of the conditions that police now describe and that the family had refused to allow them access to the second floor. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.